Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. Today I'm going to make Japanese curry. This is called kokumaru kare. It's basically instant curry. There is a bar of curry in this box. On the back it shows you how to make it. It's quite easy. First you're going to fry up your vegetables, your onions, your carrots, your potatoes. And then add a thousand milliliters of water. Set the heat from low to medium. And then add some bars. You're going to break them. I'll show you what they look like. Over here it tells you the ingredients. In terms of spiciness, it's mild. You're going to add some meat, any kind of meat. Uh, 300 grams, that's up to you. An onion or two. Potatoes, two. It's up to you. Carrots, one. Salad oil, that's up to you again. And water, 1,000 milliliters. You're going to fry up the vegetables with oil and set it to medium heat. Then you're going to add 1,000 milliliters of water and set the heat between low to medium. And then you're going to break the curry bar and add pieces into it to make it thick. You're going to let it dissolve then turn down the heat to low and cook it for about 10 minutes. But that's approximate, okay? So let's look at the ingredients. I've got frozen chicken. I've got potatoes and carrots. And I have onions. So I'm going to peel the potatoes and carrots and slice up the onions. Let me show you how to defrost this chicken in a Japanese microwave. This is an old microwave. So what you do is stick it in here and you see that snowy thing? Just press it and that's it. And wait for it to stop. I might have to do it another time because that's quite a bit of chicken. You see this? This is Akiguchi. So just press down to open it like that. Okay, I took it out of the box and opened it. And there is the curry block. And it really smells like curry. Sorry, I'm using one hand. So you're gonna break these into little squares. Sort of like chocolate, but it's I don't recommend you eating this. It is curry. And then you're gonna drop this into your pot. Okay. I've cut up some carrots and potatoes and onions. It's up to you how you want to cut them up. Okay, you can make them bite size. It's up to you or large size. That's up to you. Okay, now I'm going to cut up my chicken. Okay, take a look at my chicken. This was frozen chicken. It's sort of thawed. Cut them into whatever size you want. Okay, and now I am going to add oil into this pot. I'm going to cook up the chicken, then remove it, and then cook up the vegetables, and then add the chicken back. Just watch. Japanese canola oil. Okay, you don't need to add any salt or pepper or anything else. Just let this. I'm gonna cook it until it gets brown. I want to caramelize it to give it extra flavor. I could add in some wine, but yeah, I'm leaving it out. I have removed the chicken, as you can see. Now I'm going to fry up the vegetables. In go the onions, and I added some garlic. Garlic is optional. If you 
you like a lot of onions, then go ahead and, and put more onions. I'm going to add the other vegetables. Fry it up for a bit, and then I'll put the water. I'm gonna add the water. The vegetables are cooking up very nicely. We have to make sure that the potatoes and carrots cook through. We want them to get soft. Okay. And here's the water. I have 400 milliliters of water. I need to do this another time, plus 200 milliliters. And I'm going to add these two packs of curry into the pot. I put a thousand milliliters of water in my mixture. And I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes. Then I'll add the curry. Now I'm going to add the meat. Give it a good mix. And then I'll let this sit for about 15 minutes. And then I'll put the curry packs in. Pretty easy. All together, it takes about 30 minutes to cook. Almost 15 minutes. I'll be putting in the curry blocks. All eight of them. That'll make it nice and thick. Now, to put these blocks in. I put in four blocks, but I'm going to use all blocks. Gotta let this dissolve. See, it's turning brown. And this should feed about four to five people. Nice, nice. Sorry about that. I'm just plopping it right in. So let this dissolve and then cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes. See, it's turning nice and brown. Beautiful. Check it out. Nice. That's dinner. Curry chicken. Very basic. So easy to do. Look at that. Hello dinner. Ooh, nice. No, we're gonna make sure that it doesn't burn. Gotta mix this from the bottom. And I have steamed rice all set up. So if you want to know how to make Japanese rice, let me know. I'm going to sample the carrot. It'll be done in two minutes. Uh, I just tried the potato and it was super soft. Okay, your curry should be like this. It should be sort of thick, not watery. Now for some rice. Ooh, nicely, nicely done. Making Japanese rice is very easy. It is done. Oh, 
Oh, that looks beautiful. It smells amazing. And I am going to put some Tabasco sauce over this. Time for some lemon chew high, strong 9% Tabasco sauce. Oh boy, I'm so hungry. Oh, that's enough for now. Look at it. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. This is better than going to a Japanese restaurant. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.